and just like that it's winter i know that maintaining curly hair during the winter colder drier months can be especially a bit of a challenge for curly hair with like intense heat in in inside your house and uh, dry cold weather outside all of it can make your scalp and your hair dehydrated so if you leave your hair dehydrated it can lead to dryness which can lead to breakage but adding a few simple tips in your routine can make a big difference in both the health and appearance of your curly hair so here are my tips for winter hair care prepu prepu is preparing your hair before you shampoo or before you wash your hair think of it like applying sunscreen before you go to the beach you're doing it for protection so prepu is like that protective barrier between your hair and the the next thing that's going to happen to it uh, so applying either a little bit of hair oil or conditioner or even deep conditioner before you wash your hair can help you prevent breakage and also strengthen your hair deep conditioning once a week i know deep conditioning once a week has got a bad rap these days especially on social media but you see everybody's hair is different and if you have dry coarse hair like mine you don't want to skip deep conditioning in your routine especially in the winter months now deep conditioning think of it like a spa day for your curls and um, it helps to prevent dryness and it also boosts moisture in your hair now if you eliminate this step or ignore doing it then you are putting your hair at a risk for dehydration which causes dryness which causes brittleness and brittle hair can break remember to add deep conditioning at least once a week in your routine during the winter months now speaking of deep conditioning if you have low porosity hair that is hair is not porous it doesn't absorb water easily it doesn't absorb products easily and it's typically thick and coarse then you want to add a heat cap in your routine uh heat caps in the market typically have flax seeds in them and you can heat it up in the microwave and then uh after applying your hair mask or your deep conditioner you put it on your hair and keep it for a few minutes this can encourage better product absorption in your hair so that's making the most of your spa day basically think of a heat cap like a sauna for your hair it opens up the cuticles which encourages the products to get into your hair and to do the work that they're formulated for their deep conditioners are formulated to penetrate deeper into your hair so basically using a heat cap can help your product to work more effectively in your hair having a humidifier around can help your hair prevent frizz that comes from dryness humidifier now this is very simple we don't think about it much uh, but if you are living in a place where the air gets especially dry and cold then you want to set up a humidifier where you sleep or where you work so that the mist the water vapor the steam that comes out of the humidifier adds moisture in the air so therefore uh, your hair can absorb that moisture and stay moisturized for longer time so using a humidifier can prevent your hair from going dry and frizzy don't sleep or step out with wet hair <laughs> not in these months doing either of those things is asking for trouble having your hair wet for a long time can lead to breakage and damage for your hair did you know so make sure that your hair is fully dry before you step out if you don't have a diffuser or a hood dryer yet then this is the best time to invest in one in the colder months these tools can help you speed up your drying time and if you do it correctly it can also help you uh, get roly poly curls that bounce and again you have to do it on either uh, low heat or cold setting and this way you can prevent heat damage so don't do this with high heat
Now this is a very very uh, hard one, <laughs> especially for me. Uh, you know who who doesn't like hot showers during winter time, right? But using really really hot water on your hair can make it even drier. It's like it's like adding really hot water on your skin. It makes your skin really dry. So therefore, you want to be mindful of what your water temperature is when you wash or style your hair. Make sure it's not very hot. It's either like lukewarm or cold if you can. Um, but lukewarm is also okay. <laughs> Don't wash your hair with piping hot water. That's why. Next up, satin lined hats. Now wearing these kind of hats is like is like a blanket for your curls, except the smooth and soft lining that's inside can prevent dryness and therefore preventing breakage in your hair. So basically having one of these on in your hair can prevent your hair from being dry and damaged in the winter time. The next two tips are a no-brainer. fundamental thing if you are uh, if you have curly hair then you want to use silk or satin accessories like your silk bonnets or satin pillowcases either way you want to use um, soft cloth to protect your hair while you sleep while you try travel <laughs> before you put on your sweater Sleeping on a silk or satin pillowcase can uh, prevent tangles because it can because cotton sucks the moisture out of your hair. It's cotton. That's what it's supposed to do. But silk or satin will not do that, and it's it's soft. So therefore, there will be no friction when you sleep, and without the friction, there will be no or minimal tangles. Silk or satin bonnet is like tucking your curls for a good night's sleep. It's a it's sleep protection. So if your hair is all over the place in that dry environment, cold environment, then your hair is bound to get even drier. Uh, protect your hair from dryness and frizz and tangles with a bonnet. My last tip and possibly most underrated uh, in the industry is adding protein during the winter months. Now this is easily overlooked because we assume that oh hair needs moisture so we keep adding these moisturizing things and oils and all those kind of products but the fact is that a protein is like a humectant. I know science you are. <laughs> but basically what protein does is that it helps uh, whatever moisture that's in your hair it helps to retain the moisture without the protein the moisture can easily evaporate from your hair so if you want to keep the moisture if you want to retain moisture in your hair then don't forget to add um, some kind of protein in your routine you can either add say protein stylers or you can add a nice protein mask that suits your hair type and by that I mean that if you have fine hair then you want to use a hair mask which has very high protein ingredients um, and lots of protein ingredients so you know it's like protein heavy and that can be like a strengthening mask for fine hair but if you have like medium to coarse hair like mine then you want to use gentle proteins uh, proteins that are not so harsh uh, on that kind of hair type because I know for me if I use protein a lot then my hair gets really stiff and frizzy. I have to be so careful about what protein uh, I add in my routine. So one of the best things that you can do, again, a no-brainer, is try a DIY, the rice water rinse. It does not have really high protein, so it can like work for all hair types. Just make sure that you deep condition your hair after you've done the rinse. And if you want uh, to know how to do it, just uh, check out all the links in my description. So there you have it. These are my tips for your winter hair care if you have curly hair.
If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments and um, I'll see you in the next video.